Well, today is an extremely harsh day. Out of 15 scenes, including Sarah Esprin character played by Jenny, we need to shoot 12 to die, which means we'll probably be working for over 12 hours, which is never recommended by anybody, not on indie project or any projects. People just snap at this sort of right. And uh, me and Jason Impey, we only slept three hours last night due to, well, circumstances. I don't think we've had many challenges today. Um, I think it's gone quite smoothly. In fact, it's gone really well in the fact that we got a wicked location in a diner, which Alex blagged, which I think was great guerrilla filmmaking. That, I was impressed at that, and that really helped the production. Basically, we're really overhyped, but we've already worked for solid. Well, it's, it's 11 o'clock, and now it's really dark. Basically, we worked throughout the day, yeah, and only, we, we got really nice scenes, six or seven scenes. But the point is, we got another six to go because it's 12 scenes, and we, we, we in, they include various locations. Plus, I'm looking forward to doing a little stunt because I'm jumping out of the car at slow speed as it pulling over. I'm still, I'm risking my knees and things. I, I'm just preparing for Dow arriving on his motorbike, filming on film. Very exciting. I love shooting on film. And uh, we're going to do some Jess Franco manoeuvres, slowly crash zooming in and crash zooming out and giving a bit of full focus. I'm feeling confident about it. Everything's all ready to go. Lights looking good. Yeah. Let's get this. Yeah, I don't. It's not new to me, but police turned up. Not for actually us, but the, the whole police station seems to turn up for dinner. And it's never pleasant filming a guerrilla film around police because, especially when we had a fake gun and a Nazi flag and various other shit in the car and fake cocaine, and it probably just wouldn't have looked very good. So I, I got a bit nervous because, I mean, I've had the police on my sets before and they're all right, but they are a menace and they do jeopardise things and you don't really want that. Um, but Jenny's been cool to act with because this film's been fun, but it's been quite cool uh, working alongside Jenny today. Um, I've worked with her many a time, so it's always a pleasure, but it's different because I'm not so much directing her now, I'm actually acting alongside her, so it's a different experience for working with Jenny, so I found that interesting, and I'm looking forward to the hotel stuff tonight, I've got some tricks up my sleeve for that one, um, uh, and going mad with fake coke is always good, I've got, I'm going to do that in the toilet, in, 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 while I'm cutting my hair in the hotel room, I've got that kind of, I've got a vision for that and that's going to be kind of dark and good. I mean, if people that know me well know that I like dark and I'm quite a dark, menacing filmmaker. And I am, um, I, f I have found it challenging in a sense because, um, but no, I've done dog me, being on the other side of the camera when it's thrown on you, it is quite daunting, but I'm hoping that I'm pulling it off. And I've had fun with the character, and I, I want to keep the energy up, because it has definitely got, so far, with, with the rushes and the days we've shot, the energy on this project is amazing. I've just finished filming the uh, scrap in the bathroom scene. That wouldn't it, look at them. But... <laughs> <laughs> but I think it went really well actually, it was very energetic and I really got in the mode and it's not really the fucking about one word, just little boys having fun, getting really into the kind of way, which is good because I think the energy will come through on that. I'll be fighting, I like doing those sort of scenes, I haven't done one for a while. And plus being shot on film, it's like a fucking childhood dream, an actual film and fighting in the bathroom like a gritty movie. I'm really pleased to be on this project and be doing this. In fact, I'm very happy. <laughs> George Eastman's took over me actually, I've become George Eastman for the last couple of days or maybe even the last week as we've on and off been embarked on this project I've been living with it because George and me there's a fine line between us, we're very similar in what I do for a living and how I am anyway so it's a very close character to me anyway so I've been battling and dealing with a lot of inner demons which has been very it's been challenging but good as well. Yeah, it's been, it's like been a lot of fun. It's been very, very challenging. It's the first um, real dog job or film that I've done. And um, just constantly relying on the actor's improvisation for it, for the whole story. 
So yeah, there is plenty to do and I'm trying to keep my sugar levels up so I don't get depressed and all my actors have been fantastic so far. I really, really am enjoying myself thoroughly on this shoot. I just want to keep it going. I want to get it done in 48 hours to have a feature film. Uh, it's been a lot of fun though as well. It's just, I think Jason and I work really well together. We did Demon Scroll and we also have done um, Bittersweet as well. And um, we just seem to have really good uh, chemistry and bounce off well against each other. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, she's cool. She and is what? cool. It's been a pleasure. Yeah, it has. It's been fun. <laughs> I'm in a movie! Yeah. Help me!